Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today I'll be showing you how to set up Remote I.O. over Ethercat for the SysMac NX1P by adding the devices in SysMac Studio and then downloading them. My setup is an NX1P. I have a 1S servo and the node is set to 1 over Ethercat and then that goes to a NX Ethercat coupler and that is node 2. And here is a list of the hardware that I have in this example. I've opened up SysMac Studio and created a new project. And I'm going to call this new project NX1P with remote I.O. And my controller is an NX1P2. And the specific model is a 9024DT1. I'll hit Create. I'll go to Configuration and Setup and double click on Ethercat. And I'm going to add a servo drive. And I've got a 1S, it's a 100 volt, 100 watt servo drive. And so I'll double click on there to add it. And I also have a terminal coupler. And it's the NX ECC 202. Double click to add that. And then I'll right mouse click and I'll go to Edit Slave Terminal Configuration. And I'll add an input device and I'll add the ID 5442. Double click there. And I'll add an analog input. And the device is the TS2102. And I'll add that. And then I'll add an output card. And I've got the 5256. And I'll add that. And then I've got a mixed I.O. unit. And the mixed I.O. unit is this very first one, the 6121-5. And I've added that. Now I'll go to I.O. map. And I'm going to create device variables under my Ethercat coupler. And also for my CPU for my real world I.O. And these device variables will allow me to use these variables in my PLC program. Next I'll go to the CPU and I'll go to my controller setup and my built-in Ethernet IP. IP address is 192.168.250.1 and I'll go to my controller communication setup and type in that address 192.168.250.1 and I'll check my communications and it tests OK. I'll click OK. Now I'll go online with the controller. And I'll come back to Ethercat. And I'm just going to verify that the hardware that I have is the same as what I've added in my configuration. So I'll do compare and merge. And we can see that everything has matched OK. So I'll hit close here. If there was something different, let's say uh, there was a different revision number or maybe you mistype the card, you could go to this actual configuration and click apply and then go back to your IO map and create your device variables again. In this case I'm okay and so I'm going to download this to the controller. And I'm done downloading. And now I can check my I.O. by going to the I.O. map. And I'll go to my 
digital outputs and I'm going to turn on a couple outputs here by typing in true and then I'll look at the LEDs on the actual NXIO output unit and the first two outputs are on. I'll notice that my thermocouple card is reading 74.7 in there so that's my current temperature. I'm going to change that by putting my finger on the thermocouple and bringing that up. And that is how to add remote I.O. using Sysmax Studio.